Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to connect a OBD2 reader to your Mustang Mach-E and connecting it to the A Better Route Planner app for better and more accurate road trips. So this way you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to make it to the next charger. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. We're coming right back. All right, everybody, well, welcome back. So there's a couple things you'll need before you can make this work. Now, a better route planner currently recommends that you use specific type of OBD adapters to use to make this work properly with their program. Now, the most recommended one that they have is the OBD Link CX. Now, this one is probably the best one that they recommend just due to security and a lot of other reasons. It's also from a very good brand that makes a, a bunch of these adapters for a lot of different cars and a lot of different applications. And so this is probably the best one to use. Now I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick yours up if you'd like to. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the process on how to get this working with not only your car, but also with a better route planner. So let's get started. A couple things you'll need is that adapter, like I said, and of course you'll need your cell phone with a better route planner downloaded. Now, at the time of this recording, you do not need the premium version to use this feature in a better route planner, but do keep in mind that that may change in the future depending on what they decide to do. But for the time being, if you have the free version of a better route planner, you can use this adapter to get real time data from your car to the a better route planner app and to better see the status of your vehicle as you're on these long road trips. And it'll give you a better and more accurate reading of whether or not you're going to make it to the charger and at what percentage you're going to be making it to that charger as well. So let's take a look at the first step, which is basically plugging this into your Mach-E. So basically just down below your left knee, underneath the dashboard is the OBD2 port for the Mustang Mach-E. So go ahead and plug the adapter in right there. As soon as you finish plugging in the adapter, you can go ahead and start your vehicle. And then you're going to want to pull up the A Better Route Planner app on your phone. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And if you don't have an account with them, go ahead and set one up as well. It is free and it will allow you to save your vehicle data to your phone. So once you're in the A Better Route Planner app, what you want to do is hit this icon right here in the top corner. You'll want to go down to where it says car model and you can see where I already have mine, but I'll walk you through the process. Hit select car model. Make sure you pick your vehicle. If you haven't already done this, Mach-E 21 standard range rear wheel drive. Now you'll notice here it says alpha and it says alpha because they haven't gotten a lot of information on these vehicles yet. So until they do, this will be considered an alpha for this particular car. But keep in mind that a lot of other vehicles have a lot more data that they have. So they can give you a more accurate description of what your car is going to do over the course of that route. So now that we had that car added, we're going to hit add my car, say add it to the account. And there we go. So now we have our car added and we show the car model here and the configuration. Now that's if you have to change anything like a trailer or a ski box, it'll try to automatically uh, adjust according to those other things. But in the meantime, let's look at our options for connecting. This one here, ABRP OBD connection, that's the one we're going to use. But in case you have other ways of doing this, and there are other ways of connecting to it, not just with an OBD dongle, you'll see that you can use a, a company called Tronity, which you can look into that if you'd like. I, I looked into that, but it wasn't something I was interested in. Generic, which um, once again, depending on the type of car, may be able to use this method, but you'd have to look and research that yourself. And of course, uh, once they add more functionality to this, they'll be ability to you know have other ways of being able to get this data from your car without having to use an obd dongle but anyway for the time being we're going to go ahead and hit link abrp obd connection and it's going to give you this warning that's very obvious that you probably don't need to read but of course you can if you'd like to understood and it's going to say please choose your obd dongle that you want to use so we're going to use the obd link cx as in the list and it's going to say connection status so it says a connection successful and then you might see this pop up where if you have an Android phone, it might ask you to connect or pair with the car. Make sure you hit pair. Give it a minute. Now, I know this error popped up, but that's because it still needed that pairing um, prompt that just came up. So that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit cancel. 
and we're going to go back and we're just going to redo this process again. Understood. Wait for it. See, now it says Mustang Mach-E. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it there. Give it a second. Wait for it to connect. So if you have issues getting it connected and it gives you an error, you can unplug the dongle, plug it back in, try the process again, try rebooting your phone, try doing a bunch of things to try to troubleshoot why this is happening because there is some weird bugs and glitches with it yet. But anyway, keep trying, unplug the dongle, replug it back in, restart the car, you know, do everything you can to try to uh, troubleshoot this um, because it does take a few tries. We're gonna hit back. So this is pretty cool. So it shows your state of charge, shows your voltage, shows that you're connected to the car, shows your battery temperature, shows elevation. So there you go. You'll be able to calculate out your trip using the actual uh, statistics and everything from your car. So the reason that this is so important is that last year we took a trip in our other car, our Hyundai Ionic, and a better route planner was estimating that we would leave our house at about 90% state of charge and we would get to the charger with about 2% state of charge. And what we noticed is that when we got to that first charger, we actually had about 30% state of charge. So with this, it gives you a better accurate representation of how many miles you're getting per kilowatt hour. And then it'll automatically adjust your route based on that, which is really cool because this way, if you can potentially skip a charger, a better route planner will adjust to that and say, well, now you can skip this charger, go to the next charger, and then you can charge there instead, as opposed to the charger it assumed before without having any type of statistics from the car. So this is a really cool thing. Of course, if you get the premium edition of a better route planner, you also get the real-time weather and the real-time traffic and a lot of other stuff that will actually all get built into that calculation so it can even better accurately determine your trip and whether or not you'll need to stop more often or less often. So anyway, that's a really cool thing. You can literally buy one of these dongles, plug it in, set it up on a better route planner, and then you'll never have to worry about whether or not you'll make it to a charger ever again, because a better route planner will take care of all that stuff. Now I'm going to be using this dongle in this vehicle for an upcoming road trip later this year. And I'm going to see how well it works. The last time we used a better route planner, it didn't have any real time statistics of the vehicle. So it just basically calculated it based off of a generic set of rules based on that car. So now with this being plugged in and being connected to a better route planner, we're going to get more down to the second updates on the car and with our route going to wherever it is that we need to go. Well, like I thank you very much for watching today's episode. If this helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe just below the video there. Check us out on the website, techmotoring.com, on Twitter, at techmotoring, facebook.com slash techmotoring. I'd like to thank you again very much for watching. And remember, welcome to the future and welcome to Tech Motoring. And we will see you on the next episode.